Welcome to another episode at Not Today Society. I am Pat, and this is Bonnie. And today, we're going to give you 10 unique character traits of a psychopath. Halloween just passed. Yes. Seems pretty fitting. We've been doing a lot of like scary reaction videos. So we went online and we got a list of 10 unique character traits of a psychopath. We've been wanting to dive more into that. Psychopaths, sociopath, all that stuff. Cause as we do these videos, we, see, we come across a lot of serial yes. killers, mass murderers, all those crazy things. They all got something in the mind that's not right. So we're gonna go over this. 10, you wanna go first? Sure. All right. <clears throat> Number one, superficial charm. Psychopaths can be extremely charming and persuasive, often using their charisma to manipulate others. Yes, I definitely yeah. said that. We, we both spoke about that, the charmingness yeah. of the psychopath. We came across, I think we have a video specifically about serial killers, which I'll link yes. in the corner. And we did bring that up, how mm -hmm. psychopaths- it, they're, they're not, not crazy we, and yes, this and that. They're like, like they're very, you, Charming, you don't even persuasive. know. We've said it. Like you could literally be walking down the no, street and talking to a psychopath. I don't even know. They could be the most <laughs> charming people, and that's what's scary about it. Yeah. That they could be so charming. That actually goes with number two. Number two is lack of empathy. So you have this person that's like super charming, but you don't know that deep down in their mind they have like no empathy and they could do anything. Mm -hmm. So number two is lack of empathy. They have a reduced ability to understand and share the feelings of others, making it difficult for them to connect on an emotional level. Mm -hmm. You come, we're only on two, but that's already freaky. Yeah. They're charming, but no empathy. Yes, and persuasive, charming and persuasive. All right. Grandiosity, did I say that right? Maybe. <laughs> Grandiosity? Gr grandiosity. Grandiosity, okay. I think that's All right. it. Psychopaths may have an inflated sense of self-worth and may exhibit sense of superior. Superior. <laughs> yeah. Superiority. Yeah. I, I feel like that's also Sorry. <laughs> a, like a narcissistic trait yes. that mm -hmm. flows right over into someone they who's think narcissistic. that they're better than. And Their ego mm -hmm. is sky high. They think they know everything. This is very, very yes. similar to that. Yep. Number four, manipulative, <laughs> but it's manipulativeness. <laughs> I'll have to make sure I pronounce it right. Manipulativeness. They excel at manipulating and exploiting people for their own gain without feeling guilt or remorse. Yeah, that goes hand in that hand goes, with everything we said. Yeah, and it's, it's insane. I, I'm curious how much of a crossover there is between narcissistic traits and psychopath traits, and what are the percentage of psychopaths who cross over into narcissists? Right. I'm assuming a lot of psychopaths I've, have narcissistic traits, but yes. maybe not vice versa. Right. I yeah, I've done some and I research that, on psychopath, sociopath, and narcissism. Yeah. You can be a full narcissist and not a psychopath. Exactly, but, <laughs> but I feel like a psychopath probably, is very narcissistic. Okay, that makes so perfect sense then. That's yeah. Because I've known someone who is very narcissistic. <laughs> I'm not going to get into it, but. For legal reasons, I'm not be able to. But reading through this list, this <laughs> person had these tendencies, and that's why I keep crossing back to narcissism because yeah. he was extremely narcissistic. Mm -hmm. Don't know if he was a psychopath, hence why we said like you could be one yeah. and the other, and yeah. There's a lot of crossover, but yeah, there's a lot of people that. It's almost like psychopath is above, like, and then it's like narcissist. Yeah. If you're a narcissist, you probably have the psych whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. can't speak to that. I'm confusing my religious. <laughs> Okay, number five, impulsivity. Psychopaths can often act without thinking or about consequences, which can lead to risky and erratic behavior. Yes. That makes sense. They so. probably don't think rationally a lot of times because mm -hmm. their mind just, it's just like what they it's want. Impulsive. What they want. They exactly. want to yeah. feed that desire to do whatever it is. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was number five. Number six, shallow emotions. They mm -hmm. make they may experience emotions differently and have limited range of emotional responses. Mm -hmm. It kind of goes hand in hand with one of the ones above that we spoke about. Yeah. Uh, lacking emotion and also just not being able to show them and respond to others when it comes to like mm -hmm. emotional things like that, which makes yeah. sense with psychopaths. Right. Yeah. Um, number seven, lack of remorse. Psychopaths rarely feel guilt or regret for their actions, even when they harm others. So again, all of these are um, going into each other. Like serial killers, for yeah. example. 
yep. serial killers or psychopaths, or at least they have that trait right there. But it's Lack like they can pretend and manipulate you. They are charming enough to kind of pretend to be exactly, like and that's how a, a normal lot person, of serial killers which is just so became crazy. serial killers. Because you have someone who might murder someone and get caught, and then you have a serial killer. And the reason why they became a serial killer is because they have these traits. They can blend into, into society. They can hide. They're charming. They're um, manipulative. Like you just said, what was mm -hmm. it? The Lack of remorse. Yeah. And Everything. Impulsivity. The manipulate. Yeah. They manipulate people into liking them, being their friend, luring them in one way or another. I think we read somewhere where, I forget which serial killer, but he pretended he hurt his arm or had a broken arm or something. Like, I think he wore a cast to lure the female victims in because he looked hurt. So to a, like you're a female, you know what I mean? If you saw a man with like you a cast, never. he would look like not as And harmful. you wouldn't think like, okay, maybe I can help him to his car or something like that. And then. Yeah. Number eight. I don't know why I put two up. Times that by four. Irresponsibility. They often have a disregard for social norms and rules leading to irresponsible behavior. That's pretty obvious, this being <laughs> irresponsible. Although they probably are semi-responsible when it comes to what they're doing. Yeah. Like but I feel in general, they're, yeah. They're um, calculated. Exactly. They're I like, feel. they could be irresponsible, but they're calculated because so, they try yeah. not to get caught. All right, number nine, promiscuous sexual behavior. So, uh, psychopaths may engage in numerous short-term sexual relationships and have difficulty maintaining long-term commitments. So that makes I mean, sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I remember we were watching um, the documentary on, uh, oh, what was it? What was it? The one that we just saw? Or no? The one that we actually stopped. Um, the one that we were just watching, I'm saying. With the girl? <laughs> no. The one, no. The, it was like a Netflix one that... Uh, uh, um, we watched so many of them. No, I, I we don't stopped know. watching it because it was like that disturbing. He like went to a gay bar and uh, Dahmer, Dahmer. I'm sorry. Yes, you okay. Must, Jeffrey I, Dahmer. I, I never saw it. That's we, that's all you. <laughs> well, I, well, I don't remember. We watched up maybe. I thought we stopped watching it together because it was like that disturbing. I don't remember watching okay, that. Okay, so then I guess I did. I couldn't get into it. I couldn't finish the document because that's what he did. He, um, you know, went to the gay clubs and like lured men in there and then, you know, back to his apartment and then did like heinous things. Um, yeah, I I've, I've heard of it. Jeffrey Dahmer. I just <laughs> don't know so, like, much about him. Yeah, it was a popular him. documentary recently. Last one, criminal versatility. Some psychopaths have a history of engaging in various types of criminal activities due to their impulsivity and manipulative tendencies. Mm. Yeah, I almost feel like, and I'm just kind of backtracking again to other, where like we float around to serial killers. A lot of them start off with animals. Hurting animals, Yeah, they yes. start off at a younger age with hurting animals. And that's mm -hmm. where I hate seeing news stories, documentaries, and all of this, where when they were young, they were hurting animals. They, there were so why? many signs. I know. But it's either like the parents are like, no, that can't they're be. They're in That's denial. Not. Exactly. The people around them must be in denial, but I feel like there are so and many they cases hide it or whatever. where they it's could so, have oh dug more into it and done more. Like there, there's so many. The cat, there's one on uh, Netflix. Yes, the cat killer or something yeah, like that. Yeah, there's a, a documentary we'll on the Netflix. Exact name of it, it's honestly. disgusting. And it's, yeah. a lot of those folks started off at a young age hurting like Innocent if my, animals, I don't cats, care dogs. if it's my, like, I don't have kids, but if my kids started to show <laughs> aggression and hurting animals, I don't care if it's a fish, a, a rabbit, you know, a lot of them start doing things like out in the woods and stuff, mm -hmm. I would get help for them. Yeah. Like, that's, if I mean, we even actually, the Beth girl, she got help. Mm -hmm. She was Beth, Beth very Thomas. sick. Yeah. Yes, and she got help, and we want to do an episode fully on her. Yeah, it That's was called insane. The Child of Rage. Yeah, She's been in another episode that we did, um, that we went over like a little bit about her, but was, it's very uh, unique, because when she was younger, she, she showed got, all these tendencies. Well, she got abused first, and then, showed long a lot story of, short, yeah, yeah the family that herself. adopted her got her help. Yeah. That's what you need to do. You can't just be like, oh no, my ignore kid can't it. be like this. Yeah, you can't You know, it. because it's just going to escalate. Yeah. So with Jeffrey Dahmer or Ted Bundy, like what yeah. the fuck? Especially now with social media, Ugh. 
there are so many like is even now there was a recent it's terrible i think it was it was it in maine there was a recent shooting like a mass yeah. shooting mm-hmm. and they said that he was hearing voices he had a hearing oh my god yeah, yes the in. freaking army guy yes but there were so many things that i feel like and i don't know the full thing obviously i'm not in other people's shoes but the news made it sound like that there were so many signs from him hearing things him like not being right mentally it's like that's when you get you check in on that person like he has a gun a gun license you gotta relook kind of like i I think as people get older they have to like take their driver's test again as someone starts showing these tendencies you should recheck them if they should be allowed to you know carry a gun legally there should be things like that not just like you get it once and that's it person too yeah no one got him he killed himself yeah right? yeah killed himself in the woods and the cops found him yeah it's crazy uh, that was intense <laughs> yeah that's it for this episode just 10 facts about psychopaths mm-hmm. unique traits we kind of went off and just kind of you know touch base on other things that we spoke about in other videos we might do more quick content like this if you're mm-hmm. interested consider subscribing and we'll catch you guys in the next video thanks a lot all right bye mm-hmm.